All right, hello again. Here is another way that you can extract your frames from an MP4 video. And again, this goes back to this concept. We have an animation. We can create them and save them as uh, as a media. Export to media will do MP4 or WMV, Windows Movie. Uh, but you don't have a way to load an mp4 directly however you have load a sequence you can load an image sequence so what we will do is take a look at how to load an image sequence or how to extract an image sequence we've seen a couple of ways already and here is one more this is a software called video to photos from uh, Volvsoft and what I'm going to do is first of all uh, scan it with the antivirus I just downloaded it you should always do that even if you trust it even if it's from me don't trust me <laughs> uh, you just take this habit right you want to make sure that it's not been tampered with then you can extract it and I think we have a zip or extract all or something like that I'm going to go here and say extract it here in this current folder or I don't know, maybe a subfolder of the same name, and there it is. So I can go here, and so this is not the installable version. There's two. There's two versions. There's an installable, and there is a version which is just uh, you run it. You don't install it. It's portable, as they call it, and you just run it. There it is, right? And the website is Wolfsoft. So if you're curious about that. Um, I would say take a look at uh, what they do. They have a lot of different tools and gadgets and utilities. Uh, a lot of them also for uh, stuff relating to translations. And so if you look for translation helping tools like, um, I don't know, translate, something like that. Uh, actually, this is a search beyond their website. Uh, probably better to look on the Windows software and then just scroll down to show all and then control F to find something like uh, video. If you look for anything related to video, you'll see convert video to audio. You'll see a few other places with a highlight for uh, video or you can look down here on the browser. There's usually a say, you know, a place to find the next one. There's photos to video. Uh, and then, of course, there's the video to photos, and that's what we are going to look at. That's to take an MP4 video, or in fact, a video in many other formats. And you might like the program, so take advantage of this uh, special here. Or, you know, it's it's cheap enough at $15, even at full price. Uh, there's always something that they could improve on it. I just uh, did uh, mention something, and who knows, uh, maybe I'll take them a few weeks or a few days. Uh, they are usually very interested in making it a better tool so if you have some great ideas for making it better <clears throat> please go for it uh, communicate with them through the facebook uh, pages or other ways support lines uh, so here is the video to ooh, that was loud uh, video to photos right so and essentially uh, i'm not going to enter a license key just yet <clears throat> but what i want to do is uh, simply load the video and extract the frames so let's go look for a video first all right, so here is actually a video among a few others. And what I wanted to do is uh, grab something interesting that we can also use to do some post work. And in fact, uh, here's in the jacuzzi, uh, a slow motion and a regular speed. So I think this one here is a slow motion. Let's see, or maybe, no, that's the regular. So, Maybe we'll use that to then extract the frames and create a slow motion in Howler. Uh, or we use something that was already recorded as slow motion right there. And that's with the smartphone. So, you know, some phones have that uh, slow motion or slow mo option. And so I'm going to use that actually. So uh, that's the one here. Drag it drop it right oh hold on a second i need to probably make sure i have the keyboard focus on it here no why is it not or maybe i can't while it's uh, being read by the other app so i need to make sure i no look at that that's something odd so not all maybe i need to add a file here well i did uh, i think i did a drag and drop yesterday when experimenting with this but the file was already on my c drive and this one here is actually on the the smartphone and it made therefore maybe it doesn't have the same ability 
to to do drag and drop right it's one thing to do copy paste it's another thing to do drag and drop so here let's try this i'll just grab these two files control c copy that see if i can put them right in here yep that works okay so i got the two videos i'm gonna take the smaller one i think that's the one that was uh, slow motion yeah no sound but slow motion there okay so i'm gonna try to extract frames from that because what i'd like to do is extract the frames and then work on some of that maybe do some filtering to make it look like lava or blood or you know give it some color treatment uh, so how do we go about that uh, we did have the application running here somewhere already uh, bloop, 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 there it is okay all right and so here it's asking us to specify the file that we want to load. Oh, I copied it over here. So let's let's do that differently. Now I should be able, I think, to simply copy paste it. Let me uh, let me move this over here to the side. And okay, so there it is. Let's see if we can drag. Yep, that will take it. Okay, so that's that's the reason why it didn't copy before. Is that I wasn't doing a copy paste. I was doing a drag and drop, and it seems like it doesn't do that when it's coming from a connected. Uh, uh, smartphone i'm connected through the usb uh, you know you could also do these image transfers through bluetooth uh whatever whatever works you may have it already on your c drive or some other hard drive on the pc now we have this now we can go and extract it and you can either extract all the frames which is i think what i'm going to do here and then there's also a JPEG or a PNG option. Let's go with the simpler one. It's already lossy anyway. As a video, it's not lossless in MP in MP4. So it doesn't matter if I add a little bit more noise to that. Well, sometimes it does, but uh, let's not be picky. And then we need to say where we want to save this. So we could <laughs> simply create a, a subfolder here. <clears throat> Since I have, I think I actually had one already up here. Yep, output. Okay, so this is not going to be the smoke videos. This is going to be uh, Jacuzzi. So let's call it uh, Jacuzzi 2. Jacuzzi 1, actually. Jacuzzi 1, there you go. And so this is where we want it. This is the full path. I'm going to copy that in my clipboard. I could do it this way, I guess. And then uh, simply put that right in here. Right. Put that as the target and that's the directory All right now if you can click here you can also go navigate through that but it should it should be able to take it this way and then convert it so while this is happening and boy that was fast right this went pretty fast so a nice way to extract the frames uh you have all the frames here they are in their original video resolution. If you open them, for example, in Ifrun view here, you see 720 by 1280. So that was the resolution I chose on the camera for, for uh, you know, for for recording on the camera uh, in slow motion mode. And, I mean, the camera can do more. I think it goes up to 4K for video at 30 frames a second, but for slow motion, it shoots more at lower resolution. And I suppose I could go to, maybe I could go to full red, full HD, but I decided I didn't need that. So let's go with the lighter file. Anyway, so here's the, the image sequence. And there's tons of images. And in the next tutorial, we'll see how to work with that in Howler. But this is just this tutorial to show yet another way by which you can extract the frames.